The greatest wall you will ever climb is the one you build within your mind. Hi, I'm Walker. Welcome to Walker Wisdom, the home and main channel of the Walker Wisdom Show. DIY your life. What does he mean by that? Let me explain to you what I mean by that. In life, we are given many opportunities, which then we get FOMO from if we end up not doing it. That's another video for another day. My point is, is with so many opportunities at hand, well, many times we allow other individuals to take that opportunity for us. For example, let's say that I'm home and I don't feel like doing my chores or you don't feel like doing your chores. So I let somebody else do it. Or let's say that you don't want to go through the effort of turning off the TV and getting off the couch. So you let someone else do it. These are tiny things that build up your discipline and build up your work ethic. And all of it is going down the fucking trash can because you aren't putting in the work. DIY your life. Oh, you have that little inconvenience. Do it yourself. Oh, I don't feel like uh, taking out my papers. I'm going to use someone else. Do it yourself. Oh, I don't feel like doing that. Do it yourself. DIY your life. Do it yourself. You ever see these people on YouTube or whatever the hell you MFers watch about like DIYing something off of the original topic or doing it themselves? Do that with your life. Oh, but I don't want to... Uh, I'm not really that important. Like, what does it matter? Let me tell you what it matters. Do you see this? This is a $100 bill for the people out there who've never seen one in their entire lives. You can pause it. You can see that it's a real one. I don't care. I have many to my name. This is a $100 bill. If I was to ask you if you want this $100 bill, what would you say? Yeah, yeah, $100 bill. Okay. Do you still want it? Yeah, you still want a $100 bill. Okay. There we go. Stomped on crust. Do you still want a $100 bill? Okay. Do you still want a $100 bill? You do. My point is no matter how much I beat this up, no matter how much I stomp on it, do whatever, as long as I don't actually destroy it, you still want it. It's still valuable. It don't lose its value. Well, that is you. When God had put you on this planet, he made you with unlimited value. And you still are not doing shit. Gave his only begotten son, which then died for your sins. Gave you everlasting peace. Gave you free will to reach your potential. And you still aren't doing shit. Like this $100 bill, I can spend it, I can use it. But there is no way I can use it if it stays in the fucking drawer all day. Do you understand? You have unlimited potential, which you can do it yourself. DIY your life, construct your values from a slate of nothingness up 
towards greatness. The greatest revenge is success. Then succeed. How will you ever do anything if you never allow your mind to get over that barrier? It is the placebo effect. You MFers know that I love the placebo effect. The greatest wall you will ever climb is the one you build within your mind. Placebo yourself to be your best self. How? If you're walking around like a space monkey, a jack. While I'm sitting right here in the seat like a fucking Tyler Doden controlling all you peeps. Be take control. Take control. I am taking control of my life because my mind no longer controls you. The best and greatest warrior is the one that controls himself. Conquers himself. Not an opponent. Not this. Himself. And then, once you have conquered the foundation, you can live the rest of your life. Finishing your conquest being a champion you have to be something so why not be great why do you want to be lazy why do you want to be a jack stuck depressed all day tyler doting your shit take control realize the balance you don't want to be too much on one side that's why tyler doting dies at the end because mfo don't know how to control himself Control your life. Stay in the middle. Find a equal. I'm not saying find a balance. Because sometimes balance isn't a good thing. I'm a workaholic. And I fucking love it. I will say that to the end of time. I love being a workaholic. I am obsessed with the things that I do. I am obsessed with reaching stardom. I am obsessed and take the biggest drug you can. Success, success, success. Addiction is seen as a bad thing. But when you DIY in your life, addiction can be a good thing. Oh, addiction to drugs, addiction to alcohol. That's because you're seeing it in a negative light. Like all things, there's a good thing to something. Imagine being addicted to great work ethic. Imagine being addicted to fitness. Imagine being addicted to being able to tell people, assist, entertain, and inspire. And share your goals without other individuals like-minded. That would be good, wouldn't it? Then make that your addiction. Make your interest, your passion, whatever it may be, you're an addiction. And you will succeed. You will succeed. I'm telling you this now. If you put in all your work towards one thing, there is no way you can fail. And even if you do, failure is not a fail. I am Alexander, the one and only walker. Take the L. What the hell? I don't lose. I learn. He said what? Just like that. Just like that. That. DIY your life. Start taking control of the tiny things that you can do yourself. Okay, hey, ma'am, can you get that paper for me? Do it yourself. Do it yourself. You will start learning to be independent. Independence is key. How will you learn independence if the whole time while growing up now, currently, whenever, you're always asking other MFOs to do it. Hey, can you do that for me? Can you do that for me? It's good to have people like that. But in situations where you know that it will benefit you, take independence towards your life and conquest. Take independence of your conquest. I take independence of mine. Why can't you take independence of yours? It's like a fever dream. Weird things happening, weird things happening. You will fail on your way up. But no matter how many times you fail, you will never lose your value.
DIY your life.